about the we do have really good temperatures for our dyno day but other than that i think we're, the car's probably going to make around 455 460 um and around 500 torque on 93 pump give or take so we'll see what we get i'm not getting my hopes up as far as numbers all, all that i really care about is that the car pull, pulls harder um at the track with this drive shaft and uh, my acceleration improves so um, i'll see you guys when i get there i think i have about two hours left to get there um, i couldn't film anything in this morning because it was so dark um, with my gopro and my I forgot my dslr battery so other than that guys i'll see you guys in a little bit stay tuned so we just got here to ams uh, the car the car just got pulled into the shop so i'm waiting for them not to go ahead and install the drive shaft and see what happens um we're gonna throw the car in the dyno right afterwards it's probably gonna be like one to two hours to get it done but in the meantime i'm just gonna walk around there's a few fun cars out here a couple of gtrs i mean not like i don't see them every day but there's a couple of gtrs i'm gonna go take a look at You guys can see behind me is the uh, r8 omega 10 package i think it's wild twin turbo uh, so my car's inside the shop now it's getting worked on getting the drive shaft put on so within a little bit we should be heading over to the dyno so i'll keep you guys posted but so far so good i got a tour of the shop and uh again i've been here a few times so i got another tour of the shop i got to see some cool stuff some cool cars so it's always an adventure when i come here what is going on guys it is actually saturday anymore um, so here's what happened um, as soon as I filmed the last clip I ended up going to lunch with some of the guys in the shop uh, and by the time I came back the car had already been in the dyno so by then it was kind of like okay well they can't do any more pulls so um, I'll just have to deal with it I mean I'm a little bit disappointed but these things happen no big deal I'm sure I'll be back in the dyno some point in the future uh, I just wanted to get a really nice clip of the car on the rollers but either way uh, the results are in the car made 459 and uh, 497 so pretty much 460 horsepower and uh, 500 foot pounds of torque um, to the wheels so that's pretty impressive on 93 octane with lower down pipes I mean I, I'm, I'm so impressed with this car with the way it can perform and handle on a day-to-day -day basis on that setup so um, let, let's talk about the drive shaft the drive shaft oh man so I know it's raining it's been raining all day since uh yesterday and today uh even heading back to michigan right now it's still raining but uh the little bit that i've actually been able to get on the car from uh roll the acceleration response is very quick uh compared to the two-piece design so I'm, I'm, that's one thing i did not expect it from a roll to be that uh, that menacing compared to the, to the stock uh drive shift so uh definitely more responsive the acceleration feels a lot harder the car feels more planted uh, I can only imagine what an LSD would do in this car, so uh, that's something I, in the future, hopefully I can get my, my hands on uh, installed in the car. So, uh, yeah, I, I launched the car twice, and it was super quick. It actually hooked and just went hard. I mean, really hard, so it's, it's, it's definitely a big difference compared to the stock drive shaft. Now, I know some of you guys have watched my uh, previous video when I got tuned initially the car made 450 and 485 um, the 450 485 was i had a different set of intakes on um, so at this graph that i have now it's not a fair comparison to the graph that i had um, when i got tuned then because i didn't have stock intakes that's the biggest question here does the ms intake make more power than the stock intake went to the answer is obviously yes but at the time i had the am intakes and i'm inclined to think i do have some bit of uh, there were some gains with those intakes even though they haven't been proven to be the best out of the bunch um, for this platform but anyways i'm not here to talk about intakes that conversation is 
like chart comparisons as far as from the dyno from day one and dyno day two, the DA, the weather, none of those stuff was the same. So I think the temps were probably anywhere between 10 to 17 degrees cooler uh, when I actually dyno. Um, and it made a lot more power over the uh, last setup. So whether it had to do with the weather, whether it was the intakes, whether it was the drive shaft, you know, none of this stuff really matters to me. Uh, the way that I gauge my power is the drag strip. Um, if this car gets faster and faster and traps a higher speed, that's how I know the car is making more power. So I don't want to ramble on about, you know, what the future plans for the car, but I know they're gonna. Um, it's gonna take me a while to, you know, to, to get where I want to be, and it's, a, it's all a process and journey. And that's the whole point of this: is do it for fun, have fun while you're doing it, and uh, just you know keep your goals in front of you. So um, for the rest of the video, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a launch video uh, from the outside, one from the inside, um, and also like what my thoughts are on that, you know, on drive pavement, so I can really gauge um, how what the feeling is with the drive shaft installed, and hopefully I can keep providing you feedback on you know uh, this product in case you you decide to purchase it. Stay tuned, guys. Don't go anywhere. And uh, this video is going to continue either whether later today or tomorrow. Welcome back to the channel, guys. What I'm going to do right now, since it's raining uh, yet again, I can't make it to the track. I can't go on the street. Everything is wet. I'm going to, I'm inside of a parking garage right now. So I'm going to give you guys two launches one with traction control off and one with it on. So you guys can tell the difference. From inside the car, uh, I'll give you a clip of that too. But I'm also seeing like wheel hop, and that's to do with. Uh, there's too much air in the tires to do a launch to begin with. Usually I'm at the track, I gotta lower the PSI of the tires out from like 35 anywhere to like 25, 20 pounds in my tires in the rear just so I can hook and avoid some of that wheel hop that I'm seeing. So um, stay tuned and let me know what you guys think about these launches. After having installed this modification on the car, um, is this something that you want to do as soon as you get one of these cars? And, and I think it, the answer to that is no. You, you want to wait a little bit. I will go ahead and get your exhaust, downpipes, intakes, tune out of the way, all that good stuff. Um, because when people first start modif modifying these cars, I, I, you know, I am the same way too. As soon as I put something on, I want to see where my, where my money went. Where the, where's the return? What am I getting out of it? Um, the drive shaft is one of those supporting mods that you should add um, to your build like towards the end. Um, once, you, once you have everything you know, put on together, or if you're putting all at once, that's fine. But I don't think you're gonna see as much out of it right away um, as you're you know, going through the process of modifying the car. So definitely save it towards the end as one of those supporting mods that you're gonna use. Um, I think I'm gonna benefit quite a bit from it at the track, especially my 60 foot should be down. Uh, if I can get some good traction, we're going to see some improvements with this drive shaft for sure. Um, so yeah, that's the point of today's video is to kind of give you some more information uh, on the drive shaft, on what it could potentially do, um, what it has done for me already, and uh, what it will do in the future. So uh, my next video that I am going to be in Maryland at the YouTube, um, not a YouTube call-out event, but the Q50, Q60 call-out event that I am co-hosting with a few other people. Um, I'll be there with this car. Um, and hopefully put the drive shaft to the test. So I hope I see a lot of you there. I'll be making a separate video for that invite for everyone else to see. And uh, I hope to see some of you guys there. With that, it, with that being said, that is the end of the video for today, guys. Thank you for staying, um, you know, so subscribing to the channel, for liking, comments, all that good stuff. I appreciate all of it. So if you like today's video, hit a like. If you want to continue watching my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.